Hello. Hello, people. Um, I've got some bad news for you. Bad news re regarding the space program. This, it ain't gonna work. I'm very upset about it. Just, just be really honest with you. I'm kind of irritated and sad and almost sort of feel like crying. Not quite. Almost. Uh, I spent here, like the nerd I am, I spent a goodly part of my Saturday uh, actually did... This is not the test mock-up. This is this is the actual... This is the, the total grunt vehicle. And this is... Here, let me pull it off of here. And yeah, yeah, there it is. There's the, 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 the entire prospector vehicle. There's both of them mounted together. It's, it is the single greatest, most complex, most glorious Kerbal Space Program build that I have ever done. Uh, and I got it. I trouble. I did a whole bunch of troubleshooting. I got to the point. It 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 it'll stand up. Um, this thing will will stand up. Be ready to launch. Nothing will break. The problem is, we we see here. This is about four hundred and eighty parts. And that's too many. The game can't keep up with it. I was I was willing to record low frame rates. You know, I expected we could probably get some low frame rates until I, you know, uh, until we decoupled. But it's unplayable. Yeah, even though I've got a. I'll just be pretty honest. I got a. I got a pretty decent computer. I was getting less than one frame per second, and it is unplayable. So the this grand this grand beautiful project that I've been working for working towards for months really um, it it isn't going to work. That's okay. I can still take the separate pieces. The separate pieces are going to work. We have kind of angry, torturous music going on right now, but <laughs> uh, okay. I'm going to keep Grunt around. Grunt is a good lifting vehicle. We're going to use this later on in the project. Later on in the series, uh, I just have to lift heavy but simple payloads. It, you know, it, you know, payloads that are less than a hundred parts or so. <laughs> um, and we're uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take Prospector. And we're just going to do it the, well, I guess really it's the, the, the smart, sensible, efficient way to get a vehicle like this into orbit. We are, I'm going to go and I'm going to uh, put the thing on a boring old rocket. Just a simple rocket. A few pieces, you know, fuel tank, engine, a couple boosters. <sighs> like I could have done weeks ago. And we'll get Prospector moving. Don't be sad, Grunt. Grunt. Grunt's all sad. We've got all this work, put all this effort into getting them working, and it really is a fantastic airplane, and it works, but, you know, this, um, yeah, it's just not for this complex a payload. Okay, so, if I'm lingering around, feeling sorry for myself, let's get in here and put together a rocket. Prospector final, final version of the Prospector. I hope it's the final version. <laughs> It'll, you know, if, if stuff breaks, then it won't be the final version. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there it is. I don't, I don't know, maybe, I, I think somebody thought that this this was unmanned. This this is actually a manned vehicle. It's got right right here in the center. It's the, the, the Salisco Industries base construction company. Yep. And th this hole up top, up part up, up here, this is a, a mech jeb, a mech jeb controlled, a totally separate independent satellite that has the, uh, both the, the long range muon detector and the, the mapping utility. Okay, let's go ahead and put an aerodynamic shroud on it. Okay, guys, it's it's a it's not a disaster. It's not a catastrophe. It's merely a a mild. It's a mild setback to the program. I will not get to do it just exactly the way I wanted it to. It's okay, guys. I won't be sad forever. We'll get we'll get over it. 
I mean, it's still going to be a launch. It's still a still space program. We're still going to be flying into outer space. I'm um, going to be orbiting. The Grunt is going to make a return. The Grunt is going to be actually be used in, in a real mission. We just, we just need a simpler vehicle for it. So, yeah. I'll just, it just... It's not, it, there will be gratification, it just will not be this instant gratification, really. <laughs> okay, so here's this thing. Tell you what, I also need, um, since I'm going to, I think, I don't, I don't think this needs a three meter booster, it needs a two meter, so I need an adapter for that. I need a three to two meter adapter. Okay, I think that connected well enough. Okay, yeah, that connected well enough. It's very, very finicky trying to work inside of these tapered parts like that, but we can get it done. Okay, now let's get a two meter fuel tank or long two meter fuel tank. Bang, put that right there. Very good, I like it. Okay, and let me see, which of these engines do I want to go with? How about this one right here? I'm just kind of guessing. Yeah, it looks like a good engine. I bet you that works. <laughs> I'm thinking instead of like two big monster roosters, we'll put say like three of the smaller. Let's put some, uh, some canard. This is actually not a canard. Let's put some tail fins on it. Steerable, controllable tail fins. Thank you very much. Yep. Okay. Very standard. Looks kind of top heavy, doesn't it? <laughs> kind of like the Kerbals themselves. Got a big head. Tiny little legs. Uh, let's, let's do the... Let's go to the engineer. And let's see. Advanced stats. Thrust to weight ratio. If you put both of these stages together. Here, we'll just do it this way to cheat a little bit. Yep. Over one. So that's good. Here, do it this way. Take the engineer off of there. Okay, so yeah, let's change the name of that because that was just my working name whilst I was adjusting things. Uh, this is simply going to be Prospector. All right. It's, it's a rocket. I said I wasn't going to do any more rockets. I, I didn't want to. But it, it, it just sacrifices have to be made in, in the name of progress, right? I like it. It's a good rocket. Let's launch it. Come on, game. Let's go. <laughs> Game's taking its own time loading this. All right. We got my extra UI, GUI, what's it's in the way. My Muon detector. Okay, okay. Yeah, previous, I, I know I'm not going to mess with, don't, don't touch any of those until we've got rid of a couple of stages because things will break. <laughs> All right, let's, SAS is on. The stage, who we got? Harv, Herbert, and Sally. They're back. Yeah, Her, yeah, Herbert, you, think you, were the, you were the pilot that you did, you did the, the successful flight of Grunt, and now it was for nothing. It's okay. I need to stop talking about it. Here we go. There's a launch. Bang. Oh, and we're swerving. We're swerving. Oh, let's not do that. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Straighten out. Let's. Oh, my God. Did you see that thing? Can we? Oh, that was scary. Scary. Herbert, what are you smiling for? I was scared. See that thing lean over? I think that was like, I think that's the return of like the partially sticky pad bug or something. Okay. Let's get there. More or less straight up and down. 
Uh, SAS is not holding it steady. That was interesting. I tried to turn the SAS on it, and it did not point it upwards. <laughs> oh, what a ride, huh? <laughs> All right. Oh, it's starting to smooth out now. Except I turned the SAS on, and it... I'm, I'm able to hold it steadier just with, with, with the keyboard, just mashing the buttons than I am than the SAS does. Maybe that's because I've got the, the lightweight SAS on there, and this is definitely not a lightweight rocket, but I need the, the SAS to work whenever I get rid of all this mass, and it does become lightweight. That's probably it, huh? Ooh, scary stuff. <laughs> Okay, get rid of the solids. Angling just slightly. Don't want to get too crazy with that gravity turn yet. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to be able to use SAS with this rocket. Wow, okay. Um, map view. Let's, oh, hang on. Where'd my nav ball go? I can't look away from that. Oh, uh, we're not climbing much at all here, guys. Come on, let's go. Maybe I'd... I should have put a more fuel or more more rocket or something. I don't know, it's climbing slowly. How much fuel we got? Ooh, look away from that <laughs> nav ball for just the second it takes to change the scene. The thing starts wobbling. We're okay, we've got a third third fuel. Okay, okay. No, this is working. Alright, Apoaps is already up there above 30. Let's start doing a little bit more gravity turn. Whilst we listen to some cool jazz. Oh, I like it. I think this is Gillespie. Okay, yeah, this is working. This is working. Whoa. Uh, let's turn that RCS on, like maybe I should have done. I like the RCS squirting straight through the sides of the aerodynamic fairing. That's a good trick. Uh, let's, can we stop this spinning, please? And we stop. <laughs> oh my god! This thing is barely controllable. <laughs> it's enough to kind of cheer me up. Yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, there's Bill Jem Bob Moth over there. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm feeling better now. I'm feeling better. We got a. We got a barely out of. Uh, I've got a wild ride, barely controllable rocket, and listen to Dizzy Gillespie. Got Bill Jeb and Bob coming up here, so yeah, yeah, life is good. Life is good. This works. All right, that one's done. Stage off of that one. Let me see. Let's um, let's see if I can translate forward a little bit. Eh, maybe not gonna work that way. We have to get rid of that. Oh, I did that wrong. Well, okay, I guess that's... See, you're supposed to separate those fairings and then stage, but... All right, I guess it works. Okay, okay, Prospector, flying free. Here, let's extend those legs a little bit. Get the legs out of the way of the rocket so they don't get burnt. Oh, we've, oh, we've already been using RCS fuel. Two, is that those... Oh, no, I didn't want to use those. All right. Well, turn RCS off at this point. And away we go. Okay. Here's Prospector going for orbit. At least it's, yeah, it's, this is being more controllable. <laughs> oh, I screwed up that staging, though. I wanted to see the... The, the payload fairing split in half. It'd look all cool, you know? But, oh well. <laughs> it works. And technically, yeah, we're still in the atmosphere, but... Um, 
I, I think we're high enough, you know, up up there, just a little, almost six, 60 kilometers. I bet you there's, there isn't enough atmosphere to really, really cause any damage to all our equipment on this thing. Although I'd be happier if we can get a climb going instead of losing this altitude. Come on, guys. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, that's better. That's better. How much fuel we got? Okay, we've gone through about half of those tanks. Yeah, it used the wrong RCS tanks. I hate it when it does that. Boom. All right, right about there. Yeah, this works. Can we see Moth yet from here? Moth back behind us somewhere? I think it's still too far away for us to see it. Okay, getting the Apoapsis up there close to 70. That's good. Okay, now let's push it more sideways, less up, more sideways, thank you. Actually, let's go ahead and kill that right now, then I'll go for my circularization burn once I get up there to that apoapsis. So we accidentally have gone for a rendezvous here with the timing on this. <laughs> let's see if we can get this thing pointed in the right direction. Where is that moth? It should be back there somewhere. Is it like hiding in the sun or something? Okay, hold this orientation right there. Thank you very much. That's really... I, I should be... There should be, like, right on top of us here, guys. Well, I guess that's still... That's still some distance away, huh? 